Let's start the uh, lecture of the Japanese history. Well, background is that uh, I wrote a Kindle book for uh, elementary school uh, students in Japan. And, and so I would like to uh, introduce the contents of the Japanese history to the uh, foreign people in English. Uh, based on my knowledge. So this is the first session of the Japanese history and I would like to explain the relationships among the Buddhism, uh, Shotok Taishi, uh, Emperor Shomu and Emperor Kamu. Uh, the first thing is to introduce what uh, Buddhism is. The location of uh, Japan is here but the Buddhism started in India. India is here. Yeah, I just put this map because the recent ex entrance exams of the secondary school in Japan require uh, knowledge of the location and uh, foreign countries. Buddha's name was uh, Gautama Siddhartha. Well, he was called Siddhartha at that time. Okay, and he existed BC 600. So today is uh, 2021 and so he existed uh, about 2600 years ago he used to be in the family of the kings but he trained himself and he started the buddhism well buddhism is not very popular today in india but it is popular in sri lanka uh, thailand uh, taiwan china korea and japan so it uh, spread it into Asia widely. The next thing is the Shotok Taishi who was in Asuka era. Uh, let's understand the background of that time. Okay, Shotok Taishi was helping the lady emperor and he supported uh, governing Japan. Okay, in 859, uh, uh, Sui Dynasty unified uh, China, and Sui was very strong, and uh, Sui and Kokuri were enemies to each other. And Japan was called Wa. And because Sui was very strong, Wa should uh, prevent Sui from invading Japan. So Wa uh, prepared the law and also military to be stronger. And Japan imported uh, many things from China because it was global standard. Buddhism was one of them. So Buddhism was imported because it was global sta standard. Well, at that time, Chinese standard meant global standard because Sui was very strong. So what Shotok Taishi did was as follows. So Shotok Taishi enacted 12 levels, levels of officers. So based on the capability of the people, the government hired the officers rather than the family or the blood relationships. He also created the constitutions with uh, 17 articles. This is kind of the mindset of the officers hired by the government. And also, uh, many people went to Sui Dynasty China to learn the newest uh, things from China and try to be the global standard as well. And also, Horiyuj, this is a very old temple in Japan, and this exists in the yeah, Nara prefecture also today. The Buddhism was very global standard and imported Buddhism. And this is the symbol of the Buddhism. And it meant that the country or the government thought that the Buddhism was very important at that time. The next one is the Nara era. Uh, in Nara era, uh, there was uh, Emperor Shomu, and he also thought that Buddhism was important because a uh, kind of disease spread it in Japan. And so uh, Emperor Shomu would like to introduce Buddhism uh, for people. So he established uh, Kokubunji and Kokubun Niji Temple, and also he enacted uh, Konden En and Shizai Law. Before 
the content and in Suzai law, uh, private ownership of the rice field was not allowed. But by this law, the private uh, ownership of the rice field was allowed. And then this is the uh, Todai temple. So this is the huge statue of Buddha. Well, this is kind of a symbol of the Buddhism. And yeah, uh, Emperor Shoma thought that the Buddhism was very important. So he built the huge statue of Buddha. And also Ganjin came to Japan from China to apply the strict rule of the Buddhism in Japan. I would like to explain the background of the Konden and Shizai law. Yeah, before the Konden and Shizai law, the people were owned by the government and also the rice yard was all also owned by the government. Rice yard owned by the government was Kubunden. And because the Japan would like to be stronger, so they hired the many officers in the capital and also the many people for the military. So the uh, tax became very heavy and people escaped from the Kubunden uh, owned by government. And then the government uh, could not collect uh, many tax from the rice yard. There was the other yard by, uh, owned by upper class officers. So he allowed the private ownership, which was developed or cultivated by the, the upper class officers. So yeah, allowed the private ownership, uh, but uh, he tried to collect tax, tax from the other yard owned by, uh, owned privately. Okay. Well, on the other hand, uh, people escaped from the rice yard and then became monk. Monk, uh, monk was not taxed then. So many people became monks, but uh, increasing of the increasing of the monks uh, caused the other problem. So many people are monks, but the quality was not very good. So the Emperor Shomu invited Ganji, Ganjin to Japan to apply the strict rules and train the monks so that the quality of the monks became better. So the background of the Konen and Shizai law and also the visit of the Ganjin from China was related to each other. Well, to understand the history, such kind of relationships is very important. The next one is the Heian era. And the famous emperor was uh, Emperor Kamu. Well, the Buddhism was thought to be very important so far. So the Buddhism became the power and the Buddhism was very noisy. The Emperor Kamu hated that situation. And in nine, uh, 794, he moved the capital from Nara to Heian Kyo, Kyoto. Yeah, Kyoto is very uh, famous for sightseeing in Japan and the world. And he is kind of the person who contributed the sightseeing today. Well, once he, he moved to Kyoto, uh, he found a lot of uh, silent monks who just stayed in the mountain and just did the trainings. And Saicho, uh, who was the founder of the Tendai Shu, was the favorite of Emperor Kamu. But there was more uh, popular uh, monk in in Kyoto uh, who was Kukai, who was the founder of the Shingon Shu. And Kukai yeah, is also appearing in the entrance exam of the secondary school in Japan. So there is kind of the, the way of the remembering uh, those people. 
、そう、真空園天才、真言宗空海、and also 天台宗最長。So, let's understand the relationships among those people. So, Buddhism,、uh, Shoto Taishi, who imported Buddhism and also established the Horyu Temple, which is very old. And also Emperor Shomo, who, who enacted the Konden Enen Shizai law, and also he invited Ganjin from China. And Emperor Kamu escaped from、uh, Nara because the monks were very noisy in Nara, so he went to Kyoto. But in Kyoto, he found many silent monks, and、uh, Saicho. Was the favorite of Kam. Thank you for、uh, looking at this、uh, movie and then、uh, see you in the next time. Thank you.